Welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Melody. Today I'm gonna get my COVID vaccine and I feel kind of excited and happy because I'm gonna be one of like the first group of people who get it and well earlier than the general public but still I feel kind of fearful at the same time because um, I feel like this vaccine has been developed pretty quickly compared to like the previous ones and I'm also in research myself and I have an idea of how slow um, it can be to get results and um, yeah so I kind of don't know what's gonna be my reaction but um, I trust scientists um, especially like the big corporations like Pfizer they're very different from like the smaller groups like um, closer to what I do um, I believe they have if they want to make something happen quickly they they obviously can do it and um, but still there is a time that has to um, go by and yeah I just hope that it will um, be good and I won't have any reactions and I'll give you guys an update afterwards. Um, today is March 12th that I'm gonna get my vaccine and my second dose will be July 2nd I believe. So it's gonna be a long time from today. Hopefully everything will go well and smoothly and I won't get even like a little bit of reaction to it and yeah i'll let you guys know how it goes and see you soon okay so now i'm gonna take the subway then go maybe to winners and go to work and then go get my vaccine so i'll try to vlog along the way so So here I'm just walking towards the vaccination center and enjoying the view along the way. It was a really nice day. The weather was amazing. And yeah, I had to follow the blue line, the blue stickers to get to the center and yeah they checked um, my confirmation and everything and here I got my vaccine and it was they gave me a slip that said like I had to wait for 15 minutes after um, just to make sure there are no um, effects yeah I didn't Get a video of the actual vaccination happening because I felt a little bit shy in front of the nurse. Then I got a little Tim Hortons checking the gel and then I came to Winners. I love Winners. 
they have really nice stuff for very affordable prices. I love this vitamin C serum. It's like only ten dollars. Checking stuff. Yeah, and they always have like really nice high-end makeup for less. And this is a nice scarf in case you want to wear his job. And just checking the bags. And they have like this fossil bag for 100, which is usually like 300 because it's leather. And found these cool hugs that are like still expensive but pretty cute that they have these um, high-end brands there and then these slippers were super cheap so I decided to get those and yeah I was surprised they had they had Zara um, and these were pretty cute but I didn't need them and then they also have really nice face masks So I got the Pfizer vaccine which is one of the RNA vaccines and I believe it will lead to the expression of the spike protein that is the main surface protein, the one that gives the characteristic corona or crown of the coronavirus and yeah if your body um, gets used to seeing that spike protein without the rest of the virus it will um, get to making those antibodies that are complementary to the spike protein and what happens in your um, B cells is somewhat similar to like a micro evolution which is really cool like slowly it's gonna make things that will be complementary and then it will eliminate some and make some more and then through like many steps it will get to something that works and that requires energy a lot of energy so um yeah i try to not go on a diet or um get little sleep when you are like going through that phase try to eat healthy, give your body the energy that it might need. Um, same as like when you're sick, your body is, you know, it needs that energy. Um, yeah, so um, it, like the idea of this RNA vaccine should work, but it's the first time I believe they're um, doing this and hopefully it will not have any long-term like bad effects because um, you can't really test that unless you have time and this has like this happened really quickly so we don't know but um yeah most of the rich countries are going through with this one and um i somewhat have some faith in to them um and yeah, there's some other um, vaccines that are the weakened, weak attenuated viruses, I believe. And those already, like, they seen some people who had bad reactions. And I'm not sure, but I think they, the weak ones, they could um, mutate back to the strong version of the virus. So it would feel like you're getting coronavirus. Um, so yeah, sometimes I don't get flu shots because of that reason, like with flu shots you don't really know what you're getting, um, and I don't want to sound like a nerd when I meet the nurse and ask everything and sometimes they don't really care, so usually I just avoid getting flu shots. And another reason is that they give you what they think is the most common um, mutant, like the one that has the most common H and N 
hemagglutinin and neuraminidase proteins versions and there could be other versions and you could get a flu shot and still get the flu but a different um, mutant and the same with coronavirus you could get a different mutant like maybe one year from now another mutant comes and maybe the spike protein will be different and the vaccine won't work on that one but they keep telling us that this vaccine is going to work on all the mutants that are there right now um, but I think overall um, the best thing that we could do is keep our immune system strong and healthy that's what I'm trying to do and yeah it's just life you know you can't like eliminate all the risks I think as humans we try to like win all the time and be like so superior and we just can't believe like a small um, packet of proteins that aren't even alive they're just they don't have any metabolism going on inside them they're just like a packet or a package of proteins and nucleic acids I think it's really hard for us to believe that something so small is like more powerful than us sometimes but I actually think that's like sort of beautiful <laughs> like that's like life you know it's life doesn't exist to make us happy it just exists as it is and of course we can try our best and we should um, always do our best but um, I don't know sometimes I just like to pretend like I'm not human and look at everything from far away and that sometimes makes things look more interesting to me but yeah um, going back to the human life I think yeah, you should definitely try to keep your immune system healthy exercise eat homemade food that um, usually has a lot of vitamins and everything in it um, less processed food and that's kind of the best thing that we could do because yeah you can't always wait for vaccines so yeah it went too long but um yeah i feel great right now and yeah hopefully in the next videos you'll know how i feel um if i'm feeling normal and healthy that means you should not be scared of the Pfizer vaccine and if you get a chance, you should get it too. So, see you next time. I'm gonna drive home now.